David Goggins is a retired Navy SEAL who is known for his incredible drive and mental toughness. He documented his difficult upbringing and feats of endurance in his book Can't Hurt Me, which was a success. However, after the book's release, Goggins started coasting through life and stopped challenging himself. He realized that when life stops kicking you in the teeth and serves you a big bowl of praise, it can be easy to feel that you are the man, especially if that level of respect was hard-earned. But praise, whether it comes from your superiors, your family, or anyone else, has a downside, it can soothe your inner savage and keep you from feeling the need to grind. Each of us, has an inner savage who hungers for new challenges. As Goggins rested on his laurels and soothed his inner savage to sleep, excuses like a busy schedule, family commitments, and health concerns convinced him to stop striving and growing. Devoid of any daily growth, Goggins slowly lost self-respect because, as he says, respect is earned every day by waking up early, challenging yourself with new dreams, and embracing the suck like you have nothing and have never done a damn thing in your life. Goggins encourages people to identify and commit to a wake-up challenge that is something that will push them out of their comfort zone and inspire daily effort. This challenge does not have to be physical, it could be intellectual, such as obtaining a difficult career certification or competing in a competition, or launching a new product. Regardless of what the wake-up challenge is, it must meet two criteria, it must be a fear pod, something you're nervous to commit to but once you do, the seeds of confidence and self-discovery scatter along your path, and it must require daily effort. An example of his wake-up challenge was when Goggins received an email from a friend who wanted to see if he could run the Leadville Trail 100 race to raise money for his charity. The Leadville Trail 100 is a 100-mile foot race in the Colorado Rockies that starts at 10,000 feet above sea level and includes 15,000 feet of elevation change. Goggins would have leapt at the opportunity to run Leadville a few years ago, but now he was full of hesitancy and excuses. But Goggins couldn't get the challenge out of his head, the challenge haunted him because deep down, he knew it was what he needed to awaken his inner savage, get out of neutral, and get back on the path of self-discovery. Goggins emphasizes the importance of performing self-talk audits when identifying and committing to a wake-up challenge. Not long after ramping up his training for Leadville, Goggins's body ached, and he kept telling himself he needed a day off. So, he sat on his couch, grabbed a voice recorder, and recorded exactly what he was feeling, and made a solid case for a much-needed rest day. But when he played it back to himself, he wasn't convinced. The excuses he heard lacked substance and were just a desperate plea to quit and seek comfort. Goggins emphasizes that the way we speak to ourselves in moments of doubt is crucial because our words become actions and our actions become results.